Here's one of those goofy arguments predicated on the assumption that physics hasn't made any progress since Aristotle. The material world we know is a world of change. This young woman came to be 5'2", but she was not always that height. The great oak tree before us grew from the tiniest acorn. Now when something comes to be in a certain state, such a mature size, that state cannot bring itself into being, for until it comes to be, it does not exist. This argument seems to assume the A-theory of time. This is the idea that only the present exists and the past and future are not real. It says that events in the past and future do not occupy reality at all. However, relativity has shown that the A-theory of time is false. The B-theory, which states that all points in time equally occupy reality, is the correct view. I'll put a link in the description to a video I did explaining this in detail. And if it does not yet exist, it cannot cause anything. As for the thing that changes, Although it can be what it will become, it is not yet what it will become. It actually exists right now in this state, an acorn. It will actually exist in that state, a large oak tree. But it is not actually in that state now. It only has the potentiality for that state. Now a question. To explain the change, can we consider the changing thing alone, or must other things also be involved? Obviously, other things must be involved. Nothing can give itself what it does not have, and the changing thing cannot have now, already, what it will come to have then. Since we know that all points in time and all states which exist at those points in time equally occupy reality, we know that change is simply a difference in a state of affairs between two or more points in time. Change is not when a state enters reality because future states are just as much a part of reality as present states. The later states don't need to be brought into reality by any entity because in a sense they already occupy reality. The result of change cannot actually exist before the change. The changing thing begins only with the potential to change but it needs to be acted on by other things outside if that potential is to be made actual. Otherwise, it cannot change. Nothing changes itself. Apparently, self-moving things like animal bodies are moved by desire or will, something other than mere molecules. But desire and will are themselves, as best we can tell, just the movements of molecules. And when the animal or human dies, the molecules remain but the body no longer moves because the desire or will is no longer present to move it. All the more evidence that desire is itself a kind of movement. Now a further question. Are the other things outside the changing thing also changing? Are its movers also moving? If so, all of them stand in need right now of being acted on by other things, or else they cannot change. No matter how many things there are in the series, each one needs something outside of itself to actualize its potentiality for change. The universe is the sum total of all these moving things, however many there are. The whole universe is in the process of change, but we have already seen that change in any being requires an outside force to actualize it. Actually, relativity has shown us that all eventual actualities already occupy reality at their respective times, and are therefore not dependent upon any separate entity to bring them into reality. Therefore. There is some force outside, in addition to the universe, some real being transcendent to the universe. This is one of the things meant by God. Briefly, if there is nothing outside the material universe, then there is nothing that can cause the universe to change. But it does change. Therefore, there must be something in addition to the material universe. But the universe is the sum total of all matter, space, and time. These three things depend on each other. Therefore, this being outside the universe is outside matter, space, and time. Outside is a spatial orientation. It is a contradiction in terms to say that anything is outside of space itself. To everyone who helps me out on Patreon, you're a big help. Thanks so much.